All right, hey folks, welcome back to the video. Recently, I was working on a project where I needed to maintain a sheet that will contain some important links and check whether they're working or not on a daily basis or a weekly basis. I wanted to make sure that all the links are working at all times. So to do this manually, I would have to go to my sheet, I would have to go to this sheet, I would have to go copy these links, paste it into the new tab and then check them. But that would be a bit of an hectic thing and it uh, it's not satisfying. So that's where I put some Google Apps automation into it. So I've used Google Apps script which will check whether the link is working or not and it will return it with the status code for the link. So this is the sample Google Sheet that I'm going to be using for this video. This sheet contains the link of the website and the status code that is going to be put in using Google Apps script. So let's just go ahead and open the script editor. I've already had it open. I'm just going to save the project to broken links that's it's google apps script and um, i'm going to open up i'm just going to clear this out i'm going to write in my new function here and i'm going to be doing it as get status inside which the url is going to be passed as a parameter so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be using custom functions here in google apps script so i just have to copy this to go here and paste it into the status code section and it will automatically run the code and the status code will be pasted there. So I'm going to be starting off by declaring some parameters. I'm going to be starting out by where options. It's going to be an object. So inside this, I'm going to be passing, I'm going to be creating mute HTTP exceptions. And I'm going to be setting this to true. And uh, after this, I'm going to be doing follow redirects, to which I'm going to be declaring it as false. So now I'm going to be explaining you what the mute HTTP exceptions are. So why I've done this, I want to stop the fetch function from throwing me an error. Let's say the website doesn't even load what happens in that situation. It will throw me an error which will disrupt the working of the entire function. So if there are some exceptions, I would want to mute it and just continue and move on to the next part. Right. So I'm going to go ahead here and uh, after this, I'm going to be declaring view URL underscore trim. Inside which I'm going to be doing URL dot trim. Trim. And um, after this, I'm going to be doing a bear response and I'm going to be doing the URL fetch app, URL fetch app dot fetch inside which I'm going to, I'm going to be passing the URLs. That's going to be URL trimmed comma the parameters that are passed, the options. And after which I'm going to do return response dot get response code. So this is this is all that the code is there for this video but uh, now we're going to be going through why have i done the trim function so the url trim function is used to reduce and remove any trailing spaces in the in the url right so i don't want any spaces or any extra thing that could potentially cause an error for me so next after this uh, i've declared the response and then, then the next set of code is to basically take the url from the user and pass in it into the url app dot fetch function with the parameters that are url and the options so i'm just going to go ahead and run the code for the first time since i need to accept the permissions and stuff like that so for the first run you will have to run your file from the script editor you go here you go to broken links allow this and yeah, just for now, it's not going to, it's going to be telling me something like this. Right. So now I'm back to my Google sheet. I've run the code for the first time. I'm going to do get status. That's going to be my function inside which I'm going to be passing this link. I'm going to close the bracket hit on enter. You can see the error code has successfully come in. I, if I copy this and I open it in the new tab, it's going to tell me. It's not there. The website is not available. So it's giving me a 404 error. I'm just going to drag this to all of these. You can see it's giving me different, different errors for different, different. If I click on this one, this YouTube video, 
So tell me the video isn't available anymore. If I go to my website and I put an flash views here, you know, telling me it's a 404 error, the page you have entered doesn't exist. So this is how you can use Google Apps Script to check for broken links. And um, yeah, um, I'll be leaving the link of the code in the description. I'll be leaving a blog version of this video in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.